Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another video of mine here from Jerusalem, Israel. I'm right now here at the Central Station in Jerusalem at the Yitzhak Navon Central Station. And from here, I'm going to take the train for a day trip to Tel Aviv. Yes, the journey from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv takes about 40 minutes. So I will just go to Tel Aviv for a day trip uh, due to the fact that I have to leave tomorrow from Jerusalem to Elat because I need to cross the border to go to Egypt. So let's go and buy a ticket from Jerusalem for the train from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv. But guys, before I start the video, I would really, really much appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also leave a like and a comment on that video. I would really, really much appreciate it. All right, enough talk from me. I would say, let's go to Tel Aviv. Let's go. Platform. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. Platforms three, four. We have just one minute left. One minute Today. left. We made it on time. <laughs> So we made it on time. The trains look exactly like the ones in Germany. I just arrived here in Tel Aviv city center after a 40 minute train ride from Jerusalem, which was pretty nice actually. Everything went smooth. Train ticket cost me like four or five bucks maximum. And um, yeah, I'm here right now. Tel Aviv city center. Nice. So the weather is also pretty nice. Sun is shining. And here in Tel Aviv, we're actually directly at the beach so probably we're going to check out also the beach later unfortunately i don't have swimming shorts with me but um as i already said in the beginning of the video i have like four five hours left here in the city so it's actually some kind of day trip so we have to make the most out of this time the first stop where we are going to go now is the carmel market where we are going to go on a little market town, check out some food, check out some street food because I didn't have breakfast before. So first stop, Carmel Market guys. But I don't know actually how I get there. Probably take the bus or so, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But definitely guys, I mean, compared to Jerusalem, Tel Aviv is definitely busier, especially the skyscrapers, the buildings, downtown. So I think here is definitely more to do than in Jerusalem. I have just arrived here at the most famous and most popular market here in Tel Aviv, the Carmel Market. It's the busiest, craziest and most vibrant market here where you can get like pretty much everything. Let's get the feeling for the market and um, let's go. Actually, I'm like really, really starving right now. I'm really hungry, so we have to get something to eat, some street foods. <laughs> So the most of these markets offer mainly fruits, vegetables, but um, especially you can find also a lot of street food, like juice also, pomegranate juice. Let's try to get some pomegranate juice. Hi, can I have a pomegranate juice please? Yeah. Pomegranate juice? Yeah. Yes. Fresh pomegranate juice. Thank you. How much is it? 25. 25? Do you have a straw for me, please? Straw? Ah, yeah, okay. 
All right, guys, pomegranate juice, 100% organic. But to be honest, I'm a little bit shocked about the price because this one cost me like 25 shekel, which is almost six, seven euros or dollars. It's incredible, it's so expensive. Uh, to be honest, I'm like really, really shocked right now. Seriously guys, the taste is good, but to be honest, 25 shekel for this, incredible. So I would like to warn you, I mean, what? not warn, but I mean, you have to be prepared when you come, when you come to Israel. It's not like compared to other Middle Eastern countries where you can get like a lot of things for your money, you know? Everything is so expensive here. Hey, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Is it tacos? Tacos. Ah, yeah, tacos. it's really good. Delicious. Yeah. Really, really good. Okay, cool. Thanks. So they had tacos. But I'm actually looking for something more Israeli and Middle Eastern. So guys, we're still on the, we're looking, we're still searching for some nice street food. But unfortunately, I can't find like a good place for falafel. Orange juice, mango, mango, pomegranate, mango juice. No falafel? Okay, hummus, where's the best hummus? Uh, take you left. You left? You left? Yes. And then you thread until you see a place with a sitting place. It's outside. It's called Shlomo and Doro. How is it called? Shlomo and Doro. Shlomo and Doro. So left, left, straight, and then left. And then left. Okay. And then straight. Okay. All right, guys. Let's first go here for this famous place. Or no, for this falafel place. Hi. Hey. One falafel sandwich, please. One falafel sandwich, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 This one spicy, spicy, but this one is very good. It was good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also spicy? Yeah. Oh, sour. Okay, okay. Let's give it a try. Alright, guys. Let's give it a try. Let's find a place to eat it. Look at this, guys. That's actually typical street food. It cost me like. 18 shekel 18 shekel like almost i don't know six euros five six euros also not quite cheap but it's all right all right guys here look at this sandwich let's give it a try guys the falafel sandwich was pretty decent it was really, really good and now we're on the way to try some hummus so where is this hummus place
Schutz, die Hand. Can we pay with credit cards? Credit cards? All right, guys, let's check it out. Chick Yard since 1933. Credit card? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. All right, guys, hummus time. One question. Question, question. Which one is the most popular? Either this one or this one. This, this one. is my personal best. Okay. And uh, from this one? What? And from here, uh, the Masabaha. Masabaha, okay. Yes. Whenever you're ready, just yes. go. Okay. Either, from here, it's either the Masabaha or the Shikshuka. Okay. Alright, let's go for the Primus Masabaha. Hey, uh, can I have a hummus with masabaha? Yeah, can I maybe recommend something? Huh? Can I recommend something? You recommended me already. You recommended yeah. the masabaha? Yeah. Can I recommend the uh, upgraded masabaha? Which one? We have the masabaha aubergine, which is masabaha mixed with fried aubergine on the pan. And it, it's one of our best in my opinion. Yes? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. It's from the special? It's not from the special. From this menu? Yes. Oh, let me... This one, the Sabbath or Make this one, okay. No With pizza. Like an egg or without? No, 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 without. Anything to drink? Uh, Coke Zero. Matt! Matt! Yes. Go to the market, just travel in the Kwame market. I was already there. And in the Nakhalat Bin Yamin, where uh, you were in Nakhalat Bin Yamin? No, I wasn't there. Go to Nakhalat Bin Yamin, which is like, it's right here, just go straight, and it's a uh, whole uh, avenue, uh -huh. style, uh, with, it's really nice, and you can go like to Florentine. Okay. It's, uh, it's not far from here, it's also very nice, uh, a lot of graffiti, and uh, a lot of places to sit down, and... And what about the beach and the road? The beach is right here. You can just go to here. the beach. Yeah, you can just if you go straight, you're five minutes from the beach. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And which boulevard is it? Rothschild. 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 Ah, Rothschild. Yeah, it's also uh, right or not far from here. It's also also enough. walking distance. Yeah, in like ten minutes or. Oh, that's cool. Everything is around here. Yeah. We're in the center of Tel Aviv. Oh, perfect. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. So, guys. After this, we're going to, first of all, the Rocha Boulevard to check out this place and then after the Rocha Boulevard, we're going to the beach to check out some beach promenade and um, yeah, the beach area of Tel Aviv. But first of all, I'm excited for the hummus that we have here. The hummus mesahba with roast aubergine. Let's try it out. So guys, the food has just arrived and let's have a look what we just got. Some nice, amazing hummus with aubergine, some pita and uh, yeah, excited to try that. Oh, the pita is like so, so soft. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Like the hummus is so soft. Filled with garlic. Oil for him. Parsley. Look at this beauty. Some onion to that. What is this, guys? Let's give it a 
front. Even though the taste is amazing, like really, I would give this hummus a 10 out of 10. It's quite um, expensive for street food, so we, I just pay for the hummus 36 shekels and for the coke almost 10 shekels, which is about uh, like 12 euros, 13 euros, something like that. The same in the US source. It's not cheap for street food, but it's definitely worth it. So if you're here in Tel Aviv, Carmel Market, you have to check out this place and give it a try. Best rooms I had so far. Amazing. Really, really nice. Mm. All right, guys. I just came here from this from this restaurant. It's called Chick Bjard. Um, and I've asked a couple of people here in Carmel Market and they told me that they obviously had the best hummus over there and it was true it was incredible like the hummus was amazing um, it was with chickpea obviously hummus then uh, roasted aubergine parsley olive oil garlic and um, yeah several other spices but the taste was marvelous the hummus cost me like 36 shekel and the coke also like 10 so in total 46 I mean even though the taste was really really nice so 10 out of 10 it was a little bit uh, pricey but I mean in the end it was definitely worth it so yeah can totally recommend this place right now it seems a little bit calmer quieter but um, yeah let's walk this way down and we finally arrive at the end of the market where we also started. Okay, I have to correct myself. It's still busy like it was like two hours ago. So guys, next stop is Roche Boulevard, which is basically here down the road. <clears throat> so see you later at the Roche Boulevard. All right, guys, here we are at the world's famous Rochelle Boulevard in the heart of Tel Aviv. So basically this whole street from there to there all the way down is one of the most famous streets here in Tel Aviv. As the name says, Rochelle, world known. Look at this guy. I think he has enough of people <laughs> as just his gang with his dogs and wants to keep the people away from him um yeah back to the uh to the main topic roche boulevard the name is well known one of the richest families in the world dynasty um banking family finance family whatever you call it and um yeah this street is named after them so it's basically i don't know some kind of promenade uh doesn't look like a shopping street to be honest but it's like a really really popular promenade to just walk down here in Tel Aviv with some nice trees and everything Shalom and um, it's not like I to be honest if I can give like my honest opinion the people here in Israel are a little bit quiet I don't know how to say it how to describe it like distant cold for example, in Jordan or other Middle Eastern countries, if you greet the people with Salam and Aleikum, they greet you back, you know? And here you call, you greet the people with Shalom. It means like, hello, how are you doing? And there is no response back. So, it's a little bit weird, I don't know. Maybe they don't like me, also possible. Maybe because I'm German, also possible. I don't know. I don't want to go into this prejudice but um, yeah so you can see a little bit more it's also a really nice walk to or boulevard to the bicycle and back you see downtown with all the skyscrapers here in front of you and let's see what we have over there
Yeah, most definitely. The next stop is going to be the beach area, the marina area of Tel Aviv. Excuse me, this whole area is uh, the Roche Boulevard, right? What? This whole street is the Rothschild Boulevard, right? Yeah. And is there like on the parallel street also Roche Boulevard or? The parallel street, is it also Rocha Boulevard or just this street? Just this. Okay. And is there anything special or...? Um, you have some uh, restaurants uh, in there. All the way up? Yeah. Ah, okay. And this one is uh, something else. And this is something else? Yeah, yeah. this is Neve Tzedek. It's what? Neve Tzedek. Neve Tzedek. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. So there is like yeah. more to see, right? Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so we have to go to it all the way up to the other direction because here, actually in this area, there is not so much to see. So let's go all the way up to these skyscrapers. Let's go, guys. Green means go. Whoa, 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 don't kill me. <laughs> They drive like really, really crazy here in the city. I don't know why. In Jerusalem, it was the same. Shalom. So the girl said that all the way up, there are some restaurants. Here probably she meant these ones. But all in all, I mean, it's a nice city, but I think Jerusalem has more to offer. It's a nice livable, livable city here in Tel Aviv, I think, with the beach and the marina, nice restaurants, probably also good nightlife, bars, clubs, etc. But when it comes to attractions, history, I think Jerusalem has definitely more to offer. So everybody's driving on this E electronic bicycles I would say pretty convenient the plan for me was actually also to rent off these uh, scooters electronic scooters but due to the fact that I'm just three uh, three days here in uh, Tel Aviv I didn't got myself like a sim card where I have um, internet all the time uh, so data that I can also use them so I'm just walking around in the city and uh, we'll leave later to Jerusalem back. <clears throat> ah, okay, here it starts with the restaurant's Carmel Market. To be honest, also McDonald's is super, super expensive here in Israel. On my first day when I arrived in Ilat, it was Shabbat. Uh, Shabbat. I mean Shabbat and all the restaurants and uh, markets and everything was closed so I was forced to go to McDonald's and um, I just ordered myself like a chicken burger with some fries and the fries were like I don't know like a really really small portion a small coke and I paid like 38 39 shekels that's in US dollars 19 US dollars what the hell Nine? No. No, sorry, sorry. It's almost 13 US dollars. Like so much money. It's like so expensive here. That you can get like a glimpse for how expensive the things are here. I think that was it. From Tel Aviv. Rochel Boulevard. And I would say next stop. And the final stop is going to be the um beach area of tel aviv the marina area where we will go next so catch you at the marina area at the beach area all right my dearest friends we came to the beach area of tel aviv to the marina of tel aviv as you can see it's a pretty windy day today so excuse the sounds the wind sounds if there is any but um, yeah, let's just have a look how the beach area is around here. 
can and So, I mean, due to the fact that it's winter, I mean, we have January now. The weather is actually pretty warm, so you can walk around with t-shirt and everything, but um, I think the water is pretty cold. Shalom. That's why uh, we don't have any swimmers or... I mean, we have some kite swimmers. So here you have a nice view all over the beach area. And there are actually some surfers. Well, it's actually really, really windy. I hope that the sound is good. But uh, I would suggest let's go down to the beach and let's walk all the way up to the different beach sections with Jaffa Beach, Jerusalem Beach, and so on and so on. Oh, there is like a nice gym, a beach gym, like in Miami and um, Muscle Gym in Los Angeles. All right, guys, let's check it out. I can imagine if you're like in summer here, like the whole beachfront, the beach walk, like this area with the gym over there. I mean, it's, I can imagine it's like really, really cool in summer. The sun from here in the evening hours, you can also see the sunset. So yeah, I think in summer, it's really fun to come here. And also in summer, it wouldn't be like empty like this year, you know? It would be packed with people until the night hours, I assume. So there are actually also some surfers. Windsurfing, kite surfing over there. Some people do kite surfing, normal surfing. It looks actually like a really livable city to live in. I mean, almost every city is livable where you have the beach, you know? If you have the beach, the life is completely different. The people are different. Let's see how cold the water is. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I mean, with a neoprene suit, Suit. It's pretty alright. To be honest guys, Tel Aviv reminds me a little bit of Miami and Surfers Paradise. Look at these buildings like the skyscrapers. Really has a vibe of Miami, Surfers Paradise, Barcelona. Really, really nice. Look at this guy. Wow. He definitely knows how to do it. Expert. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Amazing. I mean, guys, it's... Actually, it's not allowed to swim here. I don't know why. No swimming. No lifeguard for duty. But please look at this marvelous, sorry, look at this marvelous view, guys. Amazing. I think it's a really, really nice stop or spot for surfing, kite surfing, windsurfing. Just play some volleyball here at the beach like you guys play football. Yeah, great place to enjoy time. If I had to make the direct comparison between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, it's hard to do because both cities are unique in their own ways, you know? Because Jerusalem is a city with a lot of culture, history, um, with, uh, I know, a lot of historical attractions to visit. And uh, like some nice quarters, bazaars, we can have also some seafood, uh, street food like in the Muslim quarter for example then you can go to Palestine for example uh, over the border to Bethlehem, to Ramallah so you have these kind of options but unfortunately Jerusalem doesn't have a sea or no beach and here in Tel Aviv it's completely different the city is new, it's vibrant, a lot of young people are living here you have the beach 
you have um, awesome restaurants. I can imagine I haven't been out here like during the night time, but you would have, we have like awesome bars, awesome nightclubs. And um, yeah, it's hard to compare these cities because they're unique in their own way. But if you come to Israel, I would definitely recommend to check out both places and both cities, at least for one day. Yeah, that's my recommendation to you guys. So guys, that's it basically here from Tel Aviv and the beach marina area with that beautiful sunset. I think it takes like one hour more until, or like half an hour more until the sun is down. But um, yeah, it's definitely a really, really beautiful place here. So when you come here, definitely have a visit and check it out. It's really nice, especially in summer. I can imagine it's, it will be packed with people. And um, yeah, you would have an awesome time. So, all right, guys, I think that's enough for this video. Um, I would I would end it now but before I end it I would really really much appreciate it guys if you could subscribe my channel if you could hit the if you could hit the notification bell if you could leave a comment and a like on the video that I can reply to your messages that would be great all right guys that was it from me from Tel Aviv Israel and greetings from Tel Aviv Marina bye and take care